All right, chat. Um, so, alien isolation. We're back with a special little extra thing. So, there is a bonus uh, episode which came with my copy of the game uh, Lone Survivor. That's a short little episode. It's based off the actual film. Now, I haven't seen the actual film, so I probably won't get all the references and whatnot, but if you have, then you've probably seen it before. Uh, it should be a pretty cool piece of fan service. Now, you may also notice that um, we're in furry mode. <laughs> and uh, that's because uh, we're trying out a little special thing. This is actually a VR mod. So this isn't actually normal. Um, some fans actually made a VR mod for the game. You can't use the VR controllers to play it. You still need to use regular controllers and whatnot. Or in my case, I'm going to be using keyboard. But you can look around the environment with the headset. So that's what we're doing with this. And uh, I wanted to just give it a try. Um, and hey, as it turned out, the DLC not being super, super long means that it's probably going to be a good way for me to just ease into it and try it out. Because, uh, you know, this is not going to be room size VR scale stuff. We're going to be using regular controllers and stuff. So I might get motion sick if I do it too long, you know? But, um, should be good, I guess, right? Just for a little bit. Should be able to just play this with the mouse and key. Uh, well, no need mouse, because we're looking, we're using the headset to look. But, uh, yeah, alright. We'll play it on medium. <sighs> alright, very exciting. Let me know if you guys can read the text as well, if it's like too zoomed out. It should be okay once we go in though. We're gonna blow up the ship. We'll take our chances in the shuttle. Good. We're gonna need coolant for the air support system. Whoa. Parker, I powered up the shuttle. Have you got those coolant tanks ready? We're back in VR territory. We're back in VR territory. This is trippy. Yo. This is hella trippy. Alright, do we still have the mouse to turn? Okay, I still have the mouse that I can turn if I need to. But yeah, god, this is trippy. Dude, I'm on the set of aliens. Isn't that cool? I got a flamethrower too. Cool. Yeah, oh yeah, this is gonna be... Yeah, playing this way is definitely going to induce motion sickness in me if I do it for too long. So I guess good thing I'm just doing this for a little bit. Yeah. You guys are seeing this too though, right? Like I said though, I won't be able to read chat, but... Uh, I'll catch up later. This actually looks... yeah. I think the game was intended for VR at some point or other because like, all the things naturally transfer over. What I think it was just dummied out. It was just dummied out afterwards. Alright. Dude, this is gonna be so immersive. Oh my god. Get out of the way! It's gonna be scary. Whoa. Hey, look at that. You can like touch the ceiling almost. Also, chat, those are, I believe, the actual voice actors from the original game. Well, we just have a flamethrower, that's all we got. Lambert! I feel like I'm in a theme ride. Come on! Ah, all right. Climb true. That box looks like a real ass real box. Unfortunately, there's nothing to loot. All right. Whoa! Dude, I can see down the ladder. I can see down. It's so cool. Okay. 
Yeah, I wouldn't want to play a whole game like this. I, I, I would definitely, I would definitely uh, not deal well with it. But just seeing all this stuff, uh, just for a little bit, you know, under an hour, I'm definitely down. Yeah, this is the this is the Nostrum, this is the original ship. So I'm assuming that yeah, this is probably what it looked like. Lambert. Lambert! Whoa. Parker! Steam. Okay, uh, let's see, we got a map. Okay, cool. So I think this is already halfway through the film, yeah, but I'm really insulting about. Whoa. Cool. Door locked. Am I gonna go in the right way? Oh shit. Oh god. No. Access engineering to reverse the lockdown. Oh, we got someone who died. Are you guys okay over there? Guess not. Alright, where are we going? All the way back. Okay. Do we have a motion tracker? Oh, we do. Is this the one from the original game? Oh, I hear noises already. Oh god, you're telling me the neck uh the xenomorph is stalking us already this early? Right into the action? Oh boy. This is probably how it looked like in the original film, right? Yeah, I can hear it thump thumping around. God, I am not looking forward to getting jumped by the xenomorph in, f in first person. Oh god, it's already here. Oh, I have no flame trouble already. That's no good. Dude, we're in a really small ship too. It's gonna come back out again in a sec, won't it? Oh my god, I can't see anything in here. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh no. Oh. Uh... <laughs> oh boy. This is uh it's gonna be pretty brutal, huh? Parker, I powered up the shuttle. Okay. Have you got those cool? Just to know what we're dealing ready? with now. A little bit more. So if anyone's wondering, the deep of attacking you in first person is very scary, yes. Let me go down there. Parker? Lambert! Parker's key card required, oh, oh boy. Alright, well... We're in the shit now, aren't we? Tiny little spaceship. Lambert? Lambert! Parker! Oh god. No. Well, alright, we got a key card now. Guess we should start moving a little quicker then. We only have 40. On the flame trawler. We gotta keep moving. Oh shit. What, are you hearing noises? Oh. 
my god. <laughs> it's there. It's at the end of the corridor. Alright, where are we going? Where are we going? Uh, I guess we can take the vent. Yeah, we should probably take the vent. The vent is that away. Well, we can go in a circle. There's only one xenomorph here anyway, right? It's the original Aliens movie, there's only one. Oh. <laughs> oh boy. I'm already... I'm already getting uh, spooked. Okay. Forward, into the left, and then into the vent. Don't turn around, don't turn around. The vent is locked. Ugh. Okay. Well, we're almost at the ladder anyway. Oh. I can't lean. I can't do the lean controls. I have to naturally lean around the corner now. Well, I am in VR, so, you know, I can lean around corners if I want to. <sighs> Alright, this is actually really claustrophobic. Uh... I think it's downstairs. don't want to hang around here longer than I need to. It's dead then. You gotta hear it thumping around. Oh, the wrong way. No, I have to be on. It's it is on the floor. Alright, what are we looking at here? Oh, it's forward. Right, right, right. We gotta use the key card. Please work. Thank you. Okay, what are we doing here? To listen to the record, man. I wanted to listen to it. All right. Uh, in chat, I have a confession to make. Um, I know I've only been doing this for ten minutes, but I am already starting to feel the effects. I'm gonna bail on the VR. Um, we give it 10 minutes, you know, 10 minutes of demoing it, but I'm going to bail on the VR and we are going to finish this in regular meat space. All right, chat? So give me just a second and I'll load back, I'll load everything back in a sec. Well, we're back, we're back in meat space. Meat space? Actually, no, this is the opposite of meat space. This is virtual space. <laughs> well, you know, since I started in mode 3, I, I guess I'll give you guys mode 2 for a little bit, right? That might be more fun. <clears throat> All right, um... So, yeah, I gave VR a little bit of a shot. Um, fortunately, I'm definitely still not adapted to it, especially if it's not like uh, using VR controls, you know? Moving around with other controllers and mouse look while viewing through VR definitely is like maximum difficulty VR uh, acclimatization. So, um, I'm glad I tried it out, actually. It was definitely worth the 10 minutes of just looking around on the Stromo. It was very cool. But uh, for the sake of my not uh, puking everywhere, uh, we are going to finish the rest of this DLC 
and uh, the standard way. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. So the alien is not out and about once again. Oh shit. And yeah, this is the original uh this is the original voice cast. Well, the original actors actually. They got everyone back, I think. Like everyone that they could get back, they got back. All right. It's over there. This is this ship is in the Nostromo, yeah, the one from the film. Please work. Thank you. There's something loose on the ship. This unknown organism. I'm going to listen to the voice log while in the locker. We just ejected his body out into space. I don't know how Ash missed this thing on the medical scans. It would have been visible. Anyway, he's he's putting together some sort of tracking device to help us catch it and, and uh, Brett and Parker are rigging up something to, to drive it toward the airlock. But this should never have happened. This is why we have quarantine regulations. For this reason. Anyway, Ripley, signing off. Nope, and that's the motion tracker we have. Oh, it's right there. Uh, yeah. So I I also did look it up, and in the films, uh, the only they only mentioned uh, Ripley's daughter once, and it was in a deleted scene in Aliens. But not that they needed to reference it too much, I guess. You know, they found the space in the film that they could fit something in, and they did it there, and you know, it all worked out pretty well. Bro, <laughs> I'm just dawdling in here. Don't check the locker. You didn't see me come in here, did you? I'm holding my breath. Crap. Eh. Sneaky fella, this one. He did kill off everybody in the movie, so you know, accurate. Parker, I've uh, up the shuttle. Well, we're well, starting all the way back here. <laughs> we're done. You wanna give us a hand down here? So much for continuing. I don't actually know how all those people died in the Lambert? original film. Lambert! Parker! Oh god. No. Watch the movie? Yeah, maybe I will. At some point. I gotta figure out where it is, where it's on. The strum was a lot smaller. I don't like all the noise it can make. Please work. Thank you. Oh, 
not these ones. Wow, this is like straight up hard mode immediately. Because of how small the space is. No save points either, we just have checkpoints. Let's check where we're going to the other end of the the other end of the room. Oh come on. <laughs> Bro just walked around the corner. Finally left. Don't come back here. Did he come back in again? He did. This asshole. There's barely anywhere to go. What are you doing? Are you just... Is it because there's barely anywhere else to go that you keep coming back here to check? Piss off for a second so I can at least get some stuff done. Thank you. Should do it. Machine the Stromo self destruct sequence. Oh, this is the very end, very end of the movie. That was so tight, man. He was not leaving us alone, like, at all. Alright, where are we going? No, it's on the lower floor. We only have enough for another burst. Like, one more. The two flares. Down and around? Alright, he's pissed off for a little bit. Don't know how much longer though.
that wide enough for us to go through? What are you doing? <laughs> I'm staring at it for a full second like, get in Ripley! Now we're actually in the film, huh? Come on, Ripley. Holding my breath. Oh, come on. This is a lot harder than the main game, right? It feels a lot harder. I think it's just down to... It's down to it, like the map being a lot smaller, we just don't have a lot of room. We have, like, we have, we have a lot less room to work with. We gotta go through the vent and then... Please don't tell me there's facehuggers in here too. Yeah, this way. Super claustrophobic. It is also like no vents, I think, or at least like no major overhead ceiling vents or whatever for the alien to like disappear away into, so. It feels like we have to like deal with it like constantly. Like it's always gonna be around. So close. Uh straight ahead. That's a we Yeah. That's the... They had a robot on the cast as well, right? Yeah. From what I remember. And the robot was... Also going to be... You know, doing the... Thing where they're like, For Wayland yutani you must preserve the creature and like, Hack everyone else. Also, hey, it's... Is this what the mechanism looked like? That's fun. That means the main game actually made it look like this. Like remember, you know, at the end of the, the end of the main game, 
Yeah, we had this exact same sequence for like blowing up the blowing up the the dock here. It's live alive. Yeah, a lot of things were influenced by Alien. Right, like Alien really was a hallmark in media okay. in general. This is it. Escape. All right. You wanted a Metroid escape sequence. We have a Metroid yes. escape sequence now. Okay, I can do this. Going the wrong way. Ah, uh, he's. He was on the left. Yeah, this movie, this movie really was a landmark, wasn't it? Danger. The emergency disrupt system is now activated. The ship will detonate in T minus. Okay. 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 Now, there's so much noise pollution, I'm sure the alien can't hear my footsteps anymore. Right? Surely. Asshole's in front of us. Crouch! What are you doing? Commercial Starship Nostromo. Third officer reporting. The other members of the crew. Kane, Lambert, Parker, Brett, Ash, and Captain Dallas are dead. Cargo and ship destroyed. I should reach the frontier in about six weeks. With a little luck, the network will pick me up. This is Ripley, last survivor of the Nostromo, signing off. I'll see you soon, Amanda. Be a good girl. I love you. Oh. Well, uh, it was a little short, but that was a fun. That was a fun little piece of fan service, right? Like, that was just uh, yeah, it's a short bonus chapter. Like that, that lets you actually just play a part of the movie. Just a very short part of the movie, but yeah, that was fun. Oh boy, um, yeah, it's uh, this was this was pretty fun, wasn't it? Right, pretty darn good game. Now I don't have the other DLCs, but I think it's fine. Um, I'm happy with what we played. Um, so yeah, we will call it at that. Bit of a shorter stream this time, but just wanted to wrap up Aiden Isolation, you know, and also you know give a brief check to the to the VR mod. So yeah, uh, we accomplished everything that we wanted to do. I'm happy with it. So thanks for joining me. 
this uh, spooky month. Mm -hmm. Alright, have a good day everybody.